Hi guys, today teardown of a new old stock uh, kilometer counter Soviet aircraft instrument. I believe it is for the distance to go education or something like this. When I did receive it, it was in the original factory wrapper. You can see it still has the factory seal we will break today. For it. And it came of course with the paperwork. Little passport for the device number 120110, matching the number on the device of course. And it is unsigned and dated from 1972. So it is just a certificate of conformity probably and there is nothing uh, filled. Maybe it is the following uh, document for the that follows the instrument to uh, keep a history of uh, all these uh, what happened to the instrument when it was installed in aircraft, removed, repaired, and so on. So since it is a two parts uh, deal, we have a front piece here, back over here, here is the model number for you. EDR-1 and this letter, I do not know exactly what is the western uh, letter for it. And a very nice logo of what seems to be a dial, instrument dial, with a little paper airplane beside it. Okay, so we have at the back three slotted screws, bolts, even, and one with the seal. So I will break, there is a little uh, cyrillic letter on the seal. I will try to break it and Truly enough, it is one more slotted screw inside. So, I hope it will not be too hard to undo. For this purpose, I have this tool which came in a very old uh, mobile phone repair kit for eBay with tools for uh, old mobile phones. This was used in uh, Ericsson most of the time this kind of sorted screw and this was easier than expected let's see the, the other ones also at least two of them it is gold but probably we will have a very last screw which will be completely stuck as always So far, so good. Maybe we will have some uh, interesting electronics in this. I have no clue of what I will find inside this one. Probably some uh, motor thing to move the degrees, but... So, we have this back piece, which is uh, like a aluminium. It will be used as a convenient straight for the screws for now. And we have the wire loom connected to uh, terminals here. And this back light color back piece. Uh, I need to undo these clamps for the wire in order to be able to slide the cover. Seconde. So this setup I had already seen this in other instruments, so I know how to deal with it. And now it should, it may, it is supposed to slide off, but there is probably a seal, yes, here, which is probably very sticky. So let's try with a knife in the gap here, usually, this is what we want to do, 
and so on the up. Yes, and this is nice. So I was a little uh, not sure if I wanted to open this instrument or not, as it was uh, actually sealed. But we have nice electronics inside. So here is the cover. We have five PCBs, it seems. So I will not bother undoing everything. Very nice uh, wire looming here, as you can see. And by the looks of it, these uh, PCBs, at least for these ones, are mostly covered with transistors. A lot and a lot and a lot of dead bug transistors. Quite interesting. So I will first undo the front cover and then we will have a detailed look at everything in a single row. So on this front cover I have screws which seem to be stuck. Oh, one is off. In the tray. Second one. So I will check if I can remove all the screws before breaking this factory seal. Maybe it will be good. So here they did put some paint over the screws. And the problem with it is that most of the time it will prevent you to put your screwdriver inside. So this one is a little messed up. I will check the other ones. Okay, this one is good. This one is good. So it looks like I need to work this one a little bit. Maybe. Yet another screwdriver like this one. Oh, oops! I almost broke my LCD screen that I use as a monitor. Okay, it is off. So this one is not going back in place. I will replace it. By a better one. It is a very regular model anyway. So now I can break the factory seal on this side. As we know, we will be able to. So in fact, you have to find the. It is one more screw under it. Usually, you have to pop your screwdriver inside and find the slot in the screw. And maybe with some luck it will come. But at the same time you will clean all the factory seal. Almost. Okay. So it is good. And I guess same deal. Oh, no, this time it was easier. Okay. So the front piece, very seriously constructed as you can see. We have the glass and we have this uh, metal part over it for the label and held in place with these brackets. And here we have, oh this is nice guys, the digit assemblies. Uh, that seems to be electrically driven for each digit as we have a wire going inside it but it looks like it will not be possible easily to uh, take them apart because they are bolted here somewhere and I do not know if I undo these two screws here if I will be able to so you can find on uh, playing with junk youtube channel 
a teardown of an aircraft instrument with maybe a similar setup. In fact, it is some kind of a stepper motor in here that will uh, drive the digits to indicate when uh, the number you want. So it is quite a weird thing, but it is working. So here I do not know where the deal is. At this point, there is something weird. What seems to be a, a motor uh, stator coil uh, core with coils wound on it. We cannot see the other. Uh, if I want to remove it, I need to undo these four little screws and. I am not sure, they are very hard, so, but it is a weird little thing in here. I will zoom in for you a little bit. So quite a surprise for these uh, things here, because in fact I did already take apart another instrument similar to this, but it was a mechanical counter with a motor driving it. I'm not uh, electrically actuated digits like so. So this is interesting. It is sad there is a screw here hidden. If not, I could have been able to undo this. And it looks like the, we have things in here. They look like coils, solenoids. Maybe they are brakes to prevent the thing turning. For now it is, uh, it is not, uh, stuck in place. Oh, maybe, may, ah yes, I know what it is here. This uh, weird thing here is just the motor to move this uh, flag indicator. Okay, some kind of uh, little motor. So, about the PCB, as you can see, a lot of wire harness. This is a terminal board connecting the, um, each one of the digits, it seems. And the digits themselves are probably attached with these screws here. So not sure if it may be possible to access the screw and undo one digit. Probably it will be very hard to install. But at least this one is coming off. And the other one is back down here. Okay. So maybe I will be able to pull this just enough, yes, to access the uh, this screw. It is good news. So how many wires do we have? We have six wires going to it. We have this weird unit which is attached to it. I will try to avoid having the screws falling. It will be easier to, for installing. And now I can undo, maybe, these three screws here which will maybe reveal the contents. I did just lost one screw. This is quite hard. I will try on this side. So it was quite inexpected to find these things. I was not uh, expecting this at all. And they are my only ones I have, I believe. So no. What else to undo? And hopefully, I may be able to pull this thing off. And uh, there is, guys, no. no luck because we have a number of little tiny screws, set screws at the other side, which are locked with paint. So I guess I will not try it further. 
I do not want to do too many too much damage so I guess I will leave it like it is. Uh, what else? I will assemble this later. We have here a gang of uh, capacitors and it seems they are glued together with some epoxy. A very nice thing here. Seems to be a resistor 1.1 kilo ohm and a whole bunch of transistors on this PCB. As you can see, quite uh, unexpected because I was not uh, expecting so much electronics inside this. So we have four digits, so maybe four times the same uh, same PCB to drive them. And this one should be responsible for driving uh, other stuff as this calls here. Probably. Okay, so I hope I did enjoy this add-on. I was quite uh, pleased with uh, this one, discovering that stuff. Now I will try to put this back together with no damage. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.